Hi beetle people, welcome back to A Beautiful Life. So in today's video, I am going to be talking about the new Paul McCartney documentary series that recently came to Hulu. It's called McCartney 321. And this is a Paul series with Rick Rubin that was announced um, last year and it was just released recently. So I'm going to be um, just sharing some thoughts and some favorite parts um, throughout the episodes. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this series is broken into six half hour episodes. So in total, it is uh, three hours long, and they all focus on um, Paul's development as a songwriter and his partnership with John. And it uh, breaks down a lot of um, the elements of the songs, and Paul also tells a lot of stories. I should say, by the way, I guess there will be some spoilers in this video, so if you haven't watched the entire thing, um, just be aware of there might be some mild spoilers ahead. Um, so when I first started watching the documentary series, I was curious um, as to see, like, what stories of his he would tell that we had already heard and which ones would be new. And um, so, I'll, so I'll first just highlight some of the stories that I liked. So one which he which he told, which we have heard many times before because he tells it, I think, at every concert. It's the one where Jimi Hendrix was playing Sgt. Pepper and was looking for um, Eric Clapton in the audience to tune the guitar. He did tell that one. Um, but then they, they showed footage of Jimi Hendrix playing Sgt. Pepper, which I had never seen before. So that was a cool um, addition to that. And then another story he told, which I think is something that he mentioned in a recent magazine interview, was um, when he and George were kids and they were hitchhiking, he would get, um, I think, rice pudding. And they would eat rice pudding on the side of the road. And he said something like, looking back, wow, that was two of the beetles on the side of the road eating pudding. And then another one I liked um, that I hadn't heard before was the story of um, when they were recording Penny Lane and George Martin had access to like all, all the best players of the, you know different instruments and he got a piccolo trumpet player and Paul wanted him to play this like impossibly high note um, he said he you know he said it was pretty much impossible but Paul said you can do it and so he did end up playing that note and then they they isolated that part so we could hear and it was really um overall really cool and interesting to see Paul actually listening to all the songs like I think that overall was my favorite part like actually seeing his reactions as he heard everything. And then another story which I hadn't heard was um, when Paul, when they were recording Band on the Run and his uh, demo tapes for that actually got stolen so they had to start from scratch. I hadn't heard that before, that was interesting. And another thing I enjoyed hearing was um, the story about the Day in the Life Orchestra, you know, the big build up in the song, um, how Paul was saying everyone should start on their lowest note and end at their highest note and it didn't matter how slow or how fast you you got there and he was saying how the the string players ended up still staying together like they wouldn't play different things they were still together and another interesting thing was um he was talking about tomorrow never knows and how they used a circular tape recorder and you know you could keep adding things on adding things on and you have to know like when to stop because it keeps it keeps going forever recording forever basically um so that was interesting to learn how they actually did that part in the song you know with all the music on top of one another because um, I didn't uh, know that story before and then another one was um, when he was talking about come together and when John originally brought in that song and it, he it was like much um, faster and Paul said that it sounded too similar to a Chuck Berry song so they had to uh, slow it down um, you know to get away from it being too similar it was cool to hear him play what the original version was on the guitar, like the faster version. So aside from the uh, the story portion, like I said, um, I really did enjoy watching Paul listening to all the songs and his reactions to everything. And um, I it was really cool to see them breaking down all the different components of the song, like isolating certain parts. And uh, through the whole thing, it was also cool that they had a lot of uh, you know pictures, you know, on the screen, and um, a lot of them were photos that I hadn't seen before or photos that were like newly colorized from black and white so it was cool to see those. I will say I do wish there were more um, of Paul's solo songs in the documentary because it did have a lot of Beatles songs which obviously I don't mind but um, I do wish it had some more some more solo stuff but the whole thing overall was very enjoyable to watch. Um, I do want to mention by the way uh, Hulu does offer 30 day free trials that's how I how I watched it um, so just so you know you can get a free trial. So I definitely do plan to to watch it again. Um, I watched the whole thing on my iPad just to kind of prepare for the video, but I do plan to watch it again actually on my TV. 
So I just want to show you this is what it looks like on Hulu. So here is the little, um, you know, title card. And then there are six episodes. I wonder if they'll end up releasing like, like any kind of bonus footage or behind the scenes or something. That would be cool to see because I would definitely like to see, see more of this. So if you have um, watched all these episodes, let me know in the comments what your favorite parts were and if you have a favorite episode. But that is going to do it uh, for today's video. So I want to say thank you very much for watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more things like this. I will leave my blog and social media linked in the description so you can check those out. And as always, have a beautiful day everybody. Bye-bye.